What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Michael Baxi. If this is your first time here, smash that subscribe button right now if you're into anything automobiles, especially tuner cars, this is the spot for you. Today we got an exciting one. I'm down here in Fremont at Pristine Parts and I can't believe who I ran into here, but I'm gonna show you in a second. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are, Pristine Parts down in Fremont, California. I'm picking up some goodies for the Type R today. Um, Miguel Del Campo really hooked it up here for me and uh, I'm here to pick up my parts. A um, little more on that in a second, but just wanted to go over this. So there's my car. There's Miguel's. So if you guys don't know about this vehicle, this <laughs> Miguel's a driver. This guy did sub two minutes on Thunder Hill not too long ago. I'll post a link to that video above if you guys want to watch it, but the kid can drive. He's, uh, he's definitely got some work done to his car. Nothing crazy power-wise. I think power-wise, I probably have more done to my car. Uh, Mishimoto, uh, Intake, um, K-Tuner Tune couple of other things for the most part what Miguel has done to his car is just more like track support mods which we're actually going to talk more about today but he's got the PRL intercooler blow off valve some suspension parts you know including a strut bar some uh, heat control you know for heat soak again support mods very important if you're going to be tracking your car and then as I came down here today, look who I run into, Vader SI. I'll put a plug in for uh, him too if you guys want to check out his Instagram. He happened to be in today. Uh, Vader SI is here getting some more goodies for his car. I don't want to spoil it for him, but he's, uh, he's got some really cool things planned. And these gorgeous TE37 Saga wheels. You don't see too many of those because they're they're straight out of Japan. Very, very limited production run on those wheels. Jealous. Gorgeous car, gorgeous wheels. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I have going into the Type R today. I did something really stupid, guys. I went and got... I got two RV6 downpipes. Not one, two. Nobody needs two downpipes, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I got, both of these are ceramic coated. It's about a two month wait time to get these things right now. They're impossible to get your hands on, but I got two of them. I couldn't decide if I wanted one without the catalytic converter and one with the high flow catalytic converter. So I got them both. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna install yet, but we'll figure that out later. And then I got, um, Turbo blanket, Hasport, rear engine mount. This is the softest uh, polyurethane bushing that they make for the street. And what Miguel hooked me up with here today, this big Mishimoto front mount intercooler. This thing's a bad boy, guys. I can't wait to get this thing on. When talking about support mods, I've got a decent amount of power going to my car now, even more so with the downpipe, which will be going in later today. But it's important to stress support mods. Support mods are just as important as the power adders. You know, heat soak is a big problem uh, in our Type R's, especially if you're going to be tracking it. Hence the reason why I've got the turbo blanket and the larger front mount intercooler which is gonna really help uh, a long way keeping those intake temperatures down. But all that power means nothing if you can't get the power to the ground, which is where this rear mount, this beefier rear mount from Hasport comes in. This is gonna keep the engine from shaking around when you're accelerating and help the tire contact to the ground stay contacted with the ground a lot better. This is gonna keep your engine from shaking around. Now that will introduce some uh, additional vibrations in the cabin. From what I heard, after a thousand miles it gets better, but 
we'll uh, I'll do separate uh, I'll do a separate video on that talking about what it's like to live with a modified Honda Civic Type R but there it is guys we're gonna head over to my other buddy Drew Eng who's gonna be helping me with the install today and uh, we'll see you there all right we are here with Drew Eng he's hooking me up with an install he's helping me out today on putting these parts in on my car you know, I just don't have the time to do it myself, and I certainly don't have the experience. So I figure I'll leave it up to the professionals. Anytime it requires uh, taking off body parts, I get a little leery of it. So I'll let him handle it, but uh, he knows what he's doing. He works on these cars all the time. He's got the front bumper off right now, getting ready to install the intercooler first. Then we're going to do the downpipe and the turbo blanket and the rear engine mount. Those are what I consider support mods because if you're at the track fine you've got all this horsepower you got the tune you got the exhaust you got the intake that's all fine and dandy but you take that car to the track and you're going to get heat soak and after one or two laps your car is going to you know overheat and go into limp mode which is not fun so things like uh, front mount intercooler oil cooler um, turbo blanket things like that will really help keep uh, the intake temperatures down low where you need them when you're out there on a track day normal day-to-day -day use you guys probably won't need it but it does look pretty cool I'll also show you the difference in size between the stock intercooler and the Mishimoto uh, aftermarket front mount intercooler I got it's huge let's check it out okay one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is my downpipe so I got I got two downpipes, but this is the one I'm showing you right now. This is RV6 Performance. Why I decided to go with this particular downpipe is these guys do quality work. I mean, if you look, look at the welds on this thing. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Everything is super tight. Quality is top notch. And one of the selling points for me is that you can use the stock heat shield to uh, cover up the pipe so you have a little bit more of a stock look if you wanted. Um, I got mine ceramic coated and if you go with the Catalyst downpipe, which this piece is here, uh, you get ceramic coated on the outside and on the inside of the piping. It goes a long, long way to uh, keeping your intake uh, temperatures down, which is super awesome. Um, it took a long time to wait for these. They, they do a limited run on these downpipes when they do do them. Um, so if you get a downpipe with the high flow catalytic converter, it's a little bit longer waiting period. If you want it ceramic coated, it's a little bit longer waiting period even over and above that. But the, the wait is well worth it. All right, so I wanted to show you guys real quick the second downpipe that I got. This is also an RV6 unit. So same super high quality piece from RV6. Just trying to flip this around here. There you go, there's their badging there. I got this with the high flow catalytic converter. This is also ceramic coated. So again, you see the high quality welds here. Excellent, excellent craftsmanship. And what I want you to look at here is the inside. <clears throat> See if I can get a better angle here. There you go. If you see that's a high flow catalytic converter. That's a 300 cell count. The factory catalytic converter is probably 400 as a lot of factory catalytic converters are. So this is going to be better flowing, uh, it's 3 inch piping all the way through, so this is going to be better flowing uh, regardless, even if it was the same cell count, this is going to move air better than the factory unit, but this is a higher flow cat, and um, very very nice piece, again I got the ceramic coated, it took about 2 months to get this piece in. Super anxious to get this uh, piece, I almost couldn't wait and I almost went with something uh, not quite as nice. But this is, I'm telling you guys, something like this, this is where the patience comes in. Waiting for the good stuff, that's where it makes all the difference in the end. Okay, so 
Here's a factory intercooler right here, right next to the Mishimoto. I mean, look at that huge difference. I mean, that is skinny compared to the Mishimoto. It's almost twice the width. It's crazy. There's a factory. You got the uh, plastic end caps, which are kind of squared off. They're not round. You know, just not, not a really good factory design for such a high performance car. I think there was kind of a missed point by uh, Honda, but I guess they also knew that we were gonna be tweaking our cars. So here we go. That's gonna look real nice in there. All right, this is inside the factory downpipe. That's a catalytic converter there. I mean, that is crazy restrictive. That's a lot of cells. I mean, on the camera, you, you almost can't even see the holes, but in person, you definitely can, and they're super tiny. And that's almost like a wall, that's crazy. Yeah, this new unit is gonna flow way better. All right guys, downpipe is in, turbo blanket is in, the uh, rear engine mount is in. Move it along nicely here. He's uh, just starting to wrap everything up. I'll uh, get you guys a final shot of the front of the vehicle when it's all put back together again, but it's looking pretty good so far. I'm really excited. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to give you the whole driving experience of the car today because it is starting to get pretty dark. I'll definitely do that in another video. Um, obviously, I want to get this stuff dyno tuned as well. So, uh, but, you know, I'll put that in another video as well. Make sure I keep you guys properly informed because um, I'm kind of the guinea pig here, right? I want to make sure I'm looking at all this stuff, seeing how good it works out, and providing you guys with the information you need so you can make the best decision for your cars. But I'm really excited. Can't wait to see how this all feels. Um, let's see what the end result looks like. Yeah, I'm like you're using. All right, there it is. Mishimoto front mount intercooler installed, a bunch with all the rest of the goodies. Just want to give a huge shout out to Drew for helping me out with the install today. Car is beautiful guys, I can't wait to take it out on the road and give you my impression on it. Alright, we managed to make it back home after the install. Super excited about everything that's going on with my car. It's been a long journey so far. I appreciate every single one of you that has stuck with me thus far. A lot of other stuff planned ahead. I've got a sneak peek of what to expect for sound uh, coming up in probably one of the next couple of videos. I'll do a video about what it's like to live uh, day to day, daily driving a full bolt on Honda Civic Type R. But you gotta stay tuned for that, all right? So thank you so much. Uh, that's it for today's video, and as always, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi, and I'm out. <laughs>